A new report from Downtown Indy Inc. says that 2024 has been a blockbuster year for downtown Indianapolis. That study includes projects changing the downtown skyline, community milestones, and of course, economic success. And welcoming, I would like to welcome, I should say, Downtown Indy Inc. President Taylor Schaefer. She joins us this morning to talk about this blockbuster year. Absolutely. Congratulations to you. Well, it's not just for downtown Indy. It's really for the entire central Indiana community because that's who downtown success benefits. Uh, so many people call downtown Indianapolis home, and that's an exciting uh, evolution of our downtown. But on a daily basis, we see the ways in which downtown truly benefits the entire central Indiana economy, the central Indiana community. And we, I have to say, as mm -hmm. we're starting this yeah. interview, I am one of the downtowners Great. coming up on a year. And I have to say, in that year, I've seen this myself even unfolding in front of me, whether it be new restaurants, absolutely, uh, road structure, that's right, and even pedestrian mm -hmm. structure added in there to make it more accessible. So what do you think is the key to this blockbuster year other than those projects going on? Well, uh, so many things. We've seen, uh, we like to say that we've seen a 50% increase in the residential population, people like you, uh, in downtown since 2010. But we've also seen a 64% increase in the number of families. And I think that's reflected in so many aspects of downtown living. Uh, the infrastructure, the connectivity, the amenities, all of those things are really building to an evolving uh, and multifaceted, no longer just nine to five audience. The, the wonderful shot you showed uh, of Monument Circle, today's the last day of the original farmer's market on the circle. That also is complemented by the spark footprint. Those are things that really speak to that intersectionality of downtown. It is a residential population. It is a worker population. It is a visitor population from central Indiana and across the globe. And we want downtown to continue to be an asset for that. So with you saying that, mm -hmm. I, I was going to yeah. mention the population is just all over the place. Mm -hmm. There's not a specific age or a particular group. It really is a downtown for everyone. How do you get new projects in town that cover such a broad range of an audience, I must say? No, that's exactly right. I think once upon a time, we viewed downtown as just a place for that recent grad or that empty nester. And mm -hmm. that was really where we saw increases in a residential population. But that's no longer true. Increasingly, we're seeing families choose downtown. We're seeing a, a, a more diverse uh, intersection of family units choosing downtown. And I think that's an incredible thing for the vibrancy of downtown, for that uh, true um, uh, intersection of programming and uh, cultural amenities of utilizing and leveraging the connectivity that has made us a world-class host city, but for an Indianapolis-centric population. So let's talk about where you go next, yeah. because obviously you can only put so many things in there, well, one would think at least, <laughs> to attract even more people to come downtown. What is cooking with Downtown Indy Inc. as far as projects? Well, I think 2024 was particularly exciting because it, it really represented a turning point in terms of the event schedule, right? You kicked things off with the NBA All-Star Games. You had the total solar eclipse. You had the Olympic trials, not to mention the first and second rounds of the NCAA tournament. And at the end of the year, we're going to have three nights of Taylor Swift. Those attract a national and even global audience, but they also have the added benefit of really giving central Indiana folks a reason to explore Indianapolis and a reason to fall back in love with downtown. And I think we'll continue to see on the horizon not only those type of major events, but several redevelopment projects that can truly change the face of downtown. I think about uh, the Circle Center development. I think about even the work that is continuing to be done in phase two and phase three of Bottle Works and Stutz. The, ex the expansion of the Convention Center and the uh, new addition of Signia anchoring one end and then the span of redevelopment happening on Georgia Street. I think all of those projects have the ability to continue to elevate our reputation as a host city, as a convention city, as an event city, while really helping to strengthen the, the, the fiber and reputation and uh, attraction of downtown for a central Indiana for a central Indiana audience. So Taylor, we've got about 20 seconds yes. left. So let's try to get this okay. one in. No matter which downtown you go to, there will be two major issues, right? And that's safety and cleanliness. 
So what's next for that? I know a lot of people always tackle that or, or mention those things when they speak of downtown. That's something we at Downtown Indy are really squarely focused on, is what does it look like to be able to provide 365 day a year operations so that downtown feels clean, it feels safe, it feels accessible, it feels vibrant and engaging uh, for all of the people who call downtown home uh, on a daily basis or throughout the year. Any specific plans or any initiatives to target Absolutely. that? Absolutely. The economic, down, uh, economic district that was passed by the General Assembly earlier this year and then went through the council, we plan on standing that up over the next year to 18 months and are really excited to be able to see what it looks like to have a dedicated funding stream that allows for seven-day-a-week cleaning crews, that allows for increased public safety technology, that allows for homelessness outreach, that hopefully really continues to move the needle in what's required for an operational standard for downtown to feel clean, safe, and cared for 365 days a year. Taylor, thank you so much. Thank and you. we're all excited to see what's happening with our downtown Absolutely. community.